Howdy folks and welcome back to the Ark One Life Challenge. This is a new series of the Ark. I mean, do you want to call it that? I mean, the whole thing is really a series. This is a new segment. <laughs> Basically, what I've done is I've lowered all of the incredible stats that we run on our servers to make them more fun, to make this more challenging. And I only have five, I think, kind of essential mods uh, on here. I've got Structures Plus. I've got a Stacks mod. I've got a um, Super Spyglass mod. I've got the No Fog, Fister's No Fog mod, because fog is just stupid. I mean, I know it's, it's a survival thing too, but you know what? All I'm going to do if, if I don't have that and fog comes along is I'm going to hide in a hut until the fog goes away. What's the fun in that? Anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> and the last one is Classic Flyers, because I'm sorry, I just cannot stand what the Arc Devs did to Flyers, so... Uh, I've got those five mods only. I've got lowered stats. XP is lowered. Uh, le points per level into different human stats. The different player character stats are very much lower as well. So this is Astrid. And what I'm going to do, uh, based on what I said in the end of the last video, is I'm going to play five episodes uh, on every map. And I'm going through the standard arc maps. I'm starting with the island, as you see. You might be able to recognize it. Day one, 8 a.m., Create new survivor. Boom. I wiped the world data, but I still had a character data, so it was asking me if I wanted to uh, wipe her out, which I do. So she's waking up in South 2. And um, I wonder if 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 in this the series the rules of this series we're gonna allow for mulligans. And what I mean by that is is if I spawn in on the first day and I'm immediately killed before I can even move, do I get to do I get to start a new character? <laughs> I think I do, because it kind of defeats the purpose. You didn't have a chance to survive. So we're at, uh, as you can see, your harvest rates are up a little bit. We're at uh, four times, and the default is five stones per pickup by, by arc if you don't do anything. So four times makes 20 stones. So we've got enough stuff to make a little bit of things. I'm going to hide behind this rock for now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I said I was going to turn off those skins, didn't I? Uh, I didn't do it. All right, skins go bye-bye. Since I'm not going to respawn anyway, I don't really care about skins. Um, I've gathered some XP, but you see I only have 13.7 XP. So I haven't gotten a lot. Uh, we're going to go a little bit of weight. And you notice that I'm only doing one, you only get 10 points per now instead of uh, 50 or 100 or whatever I got last time. Um, Fortitude is really crap too. It's down to the original. I hate it, Fortitude. But I'm going to hit it anyway. And a little bit more weight for now. Okay. So I've got the ability to make a few things. But what I really want to make is some tools right now. There we go. Pickaxe. I'll get some flint from the stone. Or down here, this patch, probably. So that I can make a hatchet. I hear dodos. They're great sources. I hear them. They must be on the other side of the rock. Or maybe they're embedded in the rock. I don't know. Great sources of early uh, hide. Uh, where's my hatchet? There's my hatchet. And I can make an S plus campfire, which I will do. I want to make these guys, they require fiber. Okay, a little bit more weight. Get that up to about 140. I don't need too much because I've got the ultra stacks. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, stamina? Yes, yeah, so I can run a little longer. Oh, I've got more levels. Stamina. Yeah, let's get that stamina up there. Okay, I really wish the spam would go away. Anyway. Uh, what is down here on the side of the beach? Nothing horrible looking. I'll use my cheaty K view. Scroll out. Where on the world am I, by the way? Oh, I'm down here. I haven't been on the island in a very long time. So I honestly don't... I mean, it'll come to me where I am and where everything is. But there's the dodo. But I don't currently remember it. Okay, spears is what I was going to make, right? Uh, I'm now... Oh, I said fiber. I, I even said before I was missing fiber. Okay, let's hope there's nothing really bad up here. There's the dodos. Nice. Okay. Get some berry. Oh, that's not harvestable. Berries and some fiber. Hopefully there's nothing else bad up here. I mean, at this point, even a dilo would be annoying. There we go. Come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me access. There we go. Hmm. Okay, spears. This would be my best way to get hide. 
I don't need to make beds or anything because one life. <laughs> don't need to worry about that. But I do want uh, leather or hide for other things. Uh, let's see here. Stamina's good. I'm going to give it a little melee damage now because I'm going to be attacking these guys. And I want to be able to kill them. Where'd my hatchet go? There it is. On three. What are your levels? You're a 135. Okay. You're not going to go in one hit. One hit. You are a five. You will go in one hit. And goodbye. Important to do it in one hit so the other one doesn't get spooked. And run away. Okay, we got some hide. 27. Nice. All right, let's get that 135. Hi, bud. Or, oh, you're just a 40. Even better. I can take you in one hit, too, if you come down here so I can have a sure hit on you. Okay. There we go. One hit. Perfect. Um... 135, I might actually want to tame. Oh, an egg. I'll take that. It's nutrition. Hi, 135. You have no more males near you. Otherwise, you'd have a mate boost. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see if we... Oh, oh, another egg. Yeah, you'd be good for nutrition and stuff. So we're going to try to tame you up. I, I mean, I, uh, Dodo, for the purposes of storage, which is what I'm using her for, and egg production level doesn't matter, right? But hey, you can actually get a dodo to be pretty tough. You can. It can actually kill little things, uh, which is pretty cool. Let's throw that in here and some poor uh, taming stuff. Our taming rates are still higher, though. We didn't lower those because don't need to. It's not really survival. At least not in my opinion. And I don't want to sit around forever waiting for stuff to tame up. Okay, okay. Anything out of here? Need to worry about? No? Doo, 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 doo. I say cheaty mode, cave view. It's not really a cheat, right? It's in the game, for goodness sake. You don't have to enable anything. You don't have to be an admin or anything. It doesn't require a cheat. It's just in the game. So, use it. It just seems cheaty because you can see farther than you can, uh, your character can normally see. Okay. I might want to eat some of this stuff too. Stamina up 150. Let's get some of our movement speed up. Oh, the slow 1.5% per. Ugh. Hate it. But okay. Let's eat a bit of the berries to get my food back up. You are coming along very slowly. And you're actually losing consciousness. So we're going to tap some narco berries into you. <clears throat> okay. And based on where I am... Let me get a feel, better feel for where I am. Oh. Hang on. Am I really at the... Uh, at the pillars, at the the little lagoon, the enclosed lagoon place. If so, that's a really cool place to be. On this side of it over here, there's not a lot of bad stuff. On the other side, you can occasionally get a sarco showing up, but over here you're pretty good. So I might just build a base over in this general area. So this this works out pretty well. How you doing? Okay. Did I, am I sure my taming rates were higher? <laughs> I don't know that they were. Now I might have accidentally reset those too. Hmm. I think I did. Because you're taking forever. Yeah, you are taking forever. Uh, alright. Well, um... Hmm. I guess I should can start building a, a, a little place, a little hut, for the first day here. And just come back and get this guy when he's done. Or gal. Get her when she's done. Let's go ahead and harvest some stuff. We'll need for buildings. Thatchy, thatch, thatch. Okay. Some more wood. And am I up to stone yet? Have I leveled the stone yet? I don't know. Um. 
A little more speed, please. I guess that's better than nothing. I would like a little bit more fortitude, but ugh. Ugh. Ten fort. I mean, ten. With these, that's why I bump points in this normally, because you, you don't get real benefits from fortitude until you get to 100, and then 200 is what you really want to really benefit from lack of uh, weather effects, elemental effects. So, hmm. One more point, uh, we'll throw it on weight, just for the heck of it. Okay. Let's get some stone. Again, I think I am. Yeah, S plus stone. It says I'm in the stone realm now, so that's good. And yeah, believe it or not, I lowered my XP down to... I just lowered it to 2.0 XP, thinking that would be fine. But I am still leveling up fairly quickly at the lower levels. Which is not too bad, as long as I don't level up quickly to the very high levels, I should be fine. Um, I don't know what to do now. Health, I guess. So I can stay alive a little bit longer now. Even though I'm not uh, yet in that... Why is this not... That is harvestable, isn't it? I guess it's not. Oh. I always thought that was. How you doing over there, Dodo? Check you out. That's about as much as I want to put on me right now. I'm look, looking at my weight indicator. Um, I might want to actually bump a little weight with the levels I just got. Eat some more berries, too. Poop a little. All right. Um, well, with the one level I just got, I guess. How you doing? Oh, you're you're getting there. You definitely need more narcos. Hmm. You're going to be my little fighter. <laughs> Which is the funny part. I would love a trike. And we might just go crazy and try to get a trike in the first day or the second day. First episode or second episode. And see if we can do it. Um, this first episode, like with the, the other uh, One Life challenge I did, I think is going to be pretty much non-stop recording. I'm not going to cut or break or, or edit anywhere. Uh, second one may not be, uh, mostly because once I get to a point where I am safe and I'm doing crafting stuff, it's kind of boring to just sit there and watch me doing crafting stuff, so I tend to skip over that. But any time I have a, a real possibility of dying, I will show you guys as I'm doing it. I don't want to miss that. don't want to miss it if I do. I don't want to... Last thing I want to do is come back and say, well, I died. <laughs> um... I mean, it's possible I could be in my building crafting and some wrecks could come along and rip my stuff apart and kill me enough before I could hit record. It's possible, but I'm just hoping that I can avoid that completely. Okay. You know, I watch her one more time, give her some more. Do I have any narco berries? I have 15. Okay. <clears throat> give her a few more narcos. Because you are deaf. Oh, and I want to put those in there for better taming percentages. Wow, you are going through your torpidity fast. Um, I'm really going to need to manage this. I need to check those taming levels. I want those higher. Uh, after this first episode, when I can quit. We are single player, by the way. Uh, it's just easier to do that, to manage that for this one life challenge thing. If, if any of the other crazy folks want to do a one life challenge as a group, I'll definitely dedicate one of our servers to it. But for now, this is all I'm going to do. And uh, so... When I'm done with this first day, I can shut down and actually make those changes. I know she doesn't need all of those, but I'm getting paranoid, so. All right, anyway, where would I build? Um, Actually, this area right here looks pretty cool. This area right down here, I kind of like it. Where it's right up against the water like this. So I might want to put something here. So, can we make some foundations? Can we make some stone foundations? Better yet, can we make some, um, just in case the Sarko does come along, can we make some S-plus fence? These guys. Stone fence supports. How many of those can we make? Twelve? Let's put those up as a, as a kind of a little barrier around our base. What do I want here? A little more health. A little more weight. And, uh, yeah. Come on. Get this tree out of the way. There we go. And if I do want this to be... That scared me. For some reason, that rolling piece of wood really freaked me out. 
I don't know why. Let's go ahead and come out here. Boom. Yeah, we probably want to go one more out just to be safe. Boom. I just want a little pl safe place for the animals, right? For any animals I tame. Let's kind of come in here. There we go. This should be fine. We're going to have a very tiny base. So, it's not a big deal. Uh, oh, and then, oh, and then, there we go. Another one, I need to go check on that dodo. She's either going to be up or awake by now. Attained or awake by now. Or darn close. She's fine. Go ahead and give her the rest of those. Just took out 13 berries in there. Hmm. 13 of the good berries. Let's get some more just in case. Uh, carefully looking for anything that might kill me. Hopefully nothing. So I plan to do all of the standard arc maps. Uh, we're on the island. I'm going to go kind of in release order. I think that's what I'm going to do. So the next one would be the center. Then Scorched Earth. I think that's the order they came out. I did the center for the other one, but um, I'll do it again. Uh, and then Ragnarok, and then Aberration. I believe that's the order. I might bypass the center and just come back for that at the end, since I just did that one. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. Come on, baby, wake up. You're almost there. You're going to be my guard dog and everything. My guard dodo. Hey, what are you? You're level 20. I could use your hide. Full power. There she goes. Okay, and your meat. Because I'm going to cook, be cooking here pretty soon. Uh, is it crafting? It is. Okay. I just couldn't really tell. Okay, I want to cut back over right around to here-ish, I think. So maybe one more out and then back? Yeah. One more out and then back. Crafting. Oh, the, the craft is down the bottom right. For some reason, I was blind and didn't see it. I actually want like three of them, I think. It's still crafting. That's fine. And then one more. There it is. That's good. That'll be a good little good little defense. I'll put walls up here in a minute. Once I get my dodo up. Oh, I am dehydrated. Fortunately, those berries should help with that. So we'll take some of those. I know there's water right there, but I don't want to leave that dodo right now. So. One more medjool berry should do her. There she is. Pick her up. Don't give her a name. I don't need to name any of these animals. <laughs> They're not going to be around for long. I mean, at most, five episodes, right? Alright. You go in there. You stop following me. Actually, you don't go in there. You go here. Because I think I'm going to build right back there. So you go there. You are on attacking target, so you should be able to defend yourself just fine. You don't have any levels yet. Um, let me stick that in there. Grab some real water. Okay, I'll actually put my eggs in, or your eggs, back in you. <laughs> and some of that meat as well. And you can eat the seeds. A lot of people don't eat the seeds early game. They throw them out. I don't know why, but they do. That's probably a good place for that. Let's actually, let's actually get some of that going. 10. And meat. Just so we have some food. S plus campfire will cook a little bit faster. We'll use less fuel. Okay. So we've got these. Now we need to make some kind of a walls to protect us. I don't really need a dino gateway at this point to get in and out because I can go around the outside edge of the of the fence. Uh I don't really do I need large stone walls? They're very expensive. Hmm. 
Or do I just need S plus stone walls? Let's just do two S plus stone walls high everywhere. Yeah. Let's make eight of those. That's all I can make. Stick those in zero slot. Do do do. Okay. Oh really, it wants to go up there, okay. Awesome. I guess that makes it too high, doesn't it? Although in here we're gonna have to go like three high. Eh, I don't know. It's not like we're gonna get Rexes or anything over here. So too high or maybe Brontos, but oh well, if a Bronto comes in. Uh do we have enough to make some storage just so I can get rid of this offload this stuff? No, not yet. I need thatch for that, but I need thatch for everything else I'm doing too. Ooh, a lot of points from the taming and all that stuff, I guess, and the, and the, the crafting I did. That's the most important thing. A little bit more health. Get up to 150. Uh, stamina up to 200 is always good. Uh, weight up to 200. And I can't see how many more points. I have one more point. I don't see what I have anywhere else. Um, speed. Just so I can move a little bit faster. Okay, I'm going to need some stone, I believe, and some thatch. So let's go ahead and grab all that stuff. There's some wood there for some thatch and wood. Leveling up again. For 21 minutes without any sign of anything bad yet, which is good. I'm sure we'll be getting some bad stuff here pretty soon. Hello, Listro. I'm going to ignore you for now. I know you're there, but I'm ignoring you. Some wood. More wood. More stone. And it broke. Should be able to repair that. Yep, I have everything in my hands necessary to repair it in my pockets. Alright. That repaired. And get some more of this thatch. And some more stone from that stone pile. What's that sound behind me? Hmm. I might have just been hearing things. <laughs> okay. More eggs. Good. They're good eats. Alright. If I am desperate. Just the one? No, I can make more. There we go. I am crafting pretty well. I didn't bump my crafting speed, which is interesting. It's the cool thing about the S Plus Fence Foundations is their ability to auto level. Um you'll notice that the top of this thing is level completely. If you use regular fence foundations, you would not get that. It would go with the terrain. And the cool thing about this is then you can uh, you can put things underneath into the terrain to, to make them even. Uh, in fact, I don't know that I need to use full walls on any of those. I do want to raise this one to two. So I'll slope down with a sloped wall. And this one too. Okay. But underneath here, what I can actually do is take the S-plus uh, railings, stone railings, and save some materials by crafting a few of those up. Stick those in five. And you basically stick them underneath, and then you convert them to a half wall. Oops. This way. And look at that. Less material, and you, you've met the ground. So it's a lot better. Um, the only danger with this is sometimes it will destroy the wall above when you're placing it, which is really annoying and weird, but it does that sometimes. Don't know why. We'll go ahead and build all these. We're at 24 minutes in. Come on. See like that? How it wants to flip? If you're not careful, you'll destroy everything. <laughs> well, you'll destroy the wall above it, which is annoying and costly. But, you know, 
You deal with it when it happens. Arc building. Gotta love it. All right. That's pretty good for a wall. Oh, I wanted to slope those down. So what I can do is just take some, uh, if I have enough materials left. S plus sloped. S plus sloped. It might actually be the same one on both of them, but I don't think it is. Uh, I thought I told it to, to place that. Oop, I thought I told it to place that. There we go. There we go. That's a cool little corner. We're good. Dodo, we're safe. Awesome. You've got some levels. I'm going to give you some health. A combination of health and melee right now, because I want you to be my guard dog. And eventually I'll give you some weight as well. Okay, can we make any sort of a storage at this point? We can. S plus large storage box would be good. We'll throw that right here by the fire. The fire is out, by the way. That's a good sign. Go ahead and throw all these materials in there. We have S plus that so we can pull. Oh, we did get all the meat cooked. Perfect. Throw that in there. We do probably need that at some point. We might need that at some point. I am cold. I should find some warmth. Well, one good way to find some warmth is to build a little hut. So we're actually going to build a one-by-one one at the moment, just so we can get out of here. Uh, do we have enough materials to make a foundation? We do. Do we have enough materials to make a doorway? We do. We have enough materials to make a door. We're using S-plus polling here, which is awesome. Uh, wall. I just want a hut to sit in to get out of the weather. Can we make three of those? Not enough resources. More stone and wood. Okay, let's throw our foundation down. We're going to want that to be here-ish. Maybe. Good enough. Throw our door. That's plus double door, but we need some stone and wood now. So, oh, no, that's a good, that's a good bird. I thought that was an ichthosaurus, which I hate. I hate the ichthys. But it is a Pelagornis. Oh, I can pick, pick up the stone with my hand. Oh, egg. Get enough stuff to make my walls. So I can call it the end of an episode because we're at 27 minutes. We're almost there. We're almost to the half hour mark. I want to actually make it a little shorter than a half hour. But, uh, you know. We'll, uh, we'll deal. Give me stone. Can I make everything? Can I make three walls? And a ceiling? Wall. S plus. Three. Pulled for two more. That makes three. And then a ceiling. S plus. Stone ceiling. I can make it. Yay! One in our little hut. Uh, okay, come out the door. And our house buff. Oh, whoops, I'm still naked. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the first episode, guys. We have a total of five to do. If we can survive five, we have one and we move on to the next map. If we don't, we've lost and we still move on to the next map. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.